Hey everybody, how's it going? So I am in the process of doing a live video and I am also watching it on my iPad. I switched my camera around a little bit so that instead of being in selfie mode, you'd be able to um, like see the words will be facing. I know, there we go. Okay, so, hmm. Um, I know my lights have been flashing. I don't know uh, really why. And so if for some reason this ends up cutting out, um, we'll try again next week. Sound good? So I hope everybody is doing well this afternoon. And yes, it is time for a Fifth Avenue Coffee Talk. So get yourself a cup of coffee and um, sit down, put your feet up and join me. So here's to you guys today with your coffee. Hmm. So we're gonna talk about the structure of the hair. So at Redkin, we are all about um, the fiber of the hair, maintaining the health of the hair. And um, so we have a bunch of treatments that we can utilize because quite frankly, every head of hair is not the same. So we have different needs. Each head of hair has different needs. Um, so we have quite an array to choose from. So how do we know when to choose what? Well, we're gonna look at the canvas of the hair and that's what's gonna determine it. So, but in order to understand the treatments, we need to know where they live. So the structure of our hair, it is comprised of the cuticle layer, which, hey Marissa, which has uh, about six to 10 layers of cuticle. So obviously the thicker, coarser hair is going to have uh, much more cuticle layers as opposed to your fine uh, textured hair. And then, uh, on the inside, we have the cortex of the hair, which that is where the pigment lives, the lipids, um, everything that comprises the structure of the hair lives within that cortex. Also within the structure of the hair, there is a thing called the medulla. And sometimes this is present and sometimes it's not. And so my question to you, hey Wendy, how are you? My question to you today is, how do we know if the medulla is present in the hair structure? So who, the first one who comments um, how we know if the medulla is present will win this right here. That's right. So this is a great caddy. I have one of these sitting in my bathroom that I put all of my uh, Redken products in, all of my brushes are in one side, and um, all of my styling products are on the other side. So everybody with me, give me some thumbs up if you um, know about the contest and Definitely type in that answer because one lucky viewer today is going to have received that. So let's talk about these treatments. Well, first of all, oh, thanks for the thumbs up. First of all, we have pre-art. Now, pre-art is a necessity. What pre-art does is it is an intense clarifying treatment. So if you have somebody, like in my area, we have a lot of well water, and we all know that well water has a tendency to um, maybe in coloring the hair, we kind of get stuck in that gold stage, and it just really kind of messes with the, our outcome. So our pre-art is definitely going to help remove those minerals that um, the chlorine, the product buildup, the um, iron, the copper that happens to be in the water. What it also does is it goes in and it kind of fills in the gaps on the hair. So it equalizes out the porosity. So this is going to create the best canvas that you can possibly have with, hey Marissa, how are you? I miss you. Um, 
is, is going to create the best possible canvas. Now, how you use this is you put this on, you take the person back to the shampoo bowl. I like to wet the hair down, and I know some people just put it right over top of dry hair. Me personally, I like to put this on wet hair. You're gonna put it on, cap them, let them sit for about five, 10 minutes, or you can put them underneath the dryer and process them under a warm dryer. After that five to 10 minutes, you're gonna take them to the shampoo bowl, you're not going to rinse, but you're going to apply hair cleansing cream. This hair cleansing cream, hey Tally, how are you? The hair cleansing cream is, you're gonna put that on, you're gonna to start to um, get a lather, and you would not believe the stuff that is going to come out in the bottom of your shampoo, uh, in the bottom of your shampoo bowl. Boy, I just cannot talk. What it is? What is it about these Fridays? These coffee talks? Oh my gosh. Uh, okay, so yeah, you got coffee. I got coffee. I need another swig. Hmm. Perfect. Okay, so um, the Pre Art Hair Cleansing Cream. It is a must before a corrective service because we definitely want to remove any type of buildup, any type of minerals that are on the hair, and we definitely want to equalize out that porosity so that we have that very best canvas that we possibly can. So if you have just joined, I have a question for you, and I'm gonna continue to repeat it throughout. So the first one, the first person who can comment how do we know if the hair has the medulla or not? If you can cut the first person that comments is gonna win a Redken Caddy. So <laughs> thank you, Marissa. So I'm I'm looking at my camera and following myself on my iPad. So awesome. So any questions about the pre-art and the hair cleansing cream, just type it across. If I miss your question, I promise I will get back to it. Okay. So our next treatment is our extreme cat treatment. I myself, I love this treatment. This is a great treatment that you can not only have your guest take home where they can utilize it once a week in order for them to maintain the longevity of the hair and the strength of the hair, but it's also a great pre-treatment when it comes to color. If you're doing a corrective service, we definitely want to make sure that our canvas is really, really good. So we first use our pre-art, then we can use our cat treatment. This has protein and ceramides in it. And I like to, I think Julie Lahr, one of our exchange Redken artists, um, put this best that it's like furniture for the hair color to sit on inside your hair. So it's a great product, especially if that person has a little bit of damage, it is going to um, help to restructure that hair. How you use this treatment is you shampoo the hair, preferably with extreme shampoo. Then you're going to spray this on, work it through the hair. It almost kind of forms like a lather. Work it through, get that lather going, let it set for five minutes, and then you're gonna rinse. You can do up to three cat treatments prior to a color service. The one thing that you will notice is, especially you need to educate your guests if they take this home and go to use it, it can leave the hair feeling a little starchy. So always use a topical conditioner. Uh, if you're doing some type of a color service, maybe just do a light extreme conditioner and then rinse really, really well. But just let your guests know that yes, it is supposed to feel like that because <laughs> it does have a tendency to feel a little starchy. So, sound good? Give me some thum thumbs up. Hey, Denise, how are you? So, if you're liking what you're learning so far, show me some hearts. Give me a bunch of hearts. Sound good? Okay, so we talked about pre-treatments. Um, now, when we are coloring hair, 
We used to utilize our cat treatment to help repair those bonds that we break whenever we're coloring hair. Whenever we're doing any type of a chemical service, we break bonds in the hair. So now Redken has pH bonder. pH bonder actually can get mixed right in with our hair color. It's dosed out based on the amount of hair color that you are using um, in your bowl. Not hair color and developer, it's just on the hair color. So if you're mixing one ounce of hair color to one ounce of developer, you would dose based on that one ounce of hair color. So this actually, the pH bonder, what it does is it actually works down at the bond level. So those are the, all that little, those ladders within the hair that comprise the hair. And it actually goes there and it strengthens as well as protects the bonds of our hair during a chemical service. So if you're a guest watching this, make sure that you insist that your stylist use pH bonder in your hair color. And if you're a stylist, Definitely let your guest know the importance of utilizing pH bonder within their hair color. So after we color the hair, um, we have different treatments that treat different areas. So our pre-art, that's going to live in the cuticle layer. Our cat treatment lives on the cuticle layer as well. Our pH bonder lives down in the bond level, but we also have extreme length primer. This is a fabulous treatment that you can do for that person who maybe, hi Michael, how are you? For that person that maybe had long hair and um, decided to cut their hair into a pixie or a nice lob, and now all of a sudden they're like, you know what, I really, really wanna grow my hair out again. Uh, this is a great treatment. They can not only take this treatment home and do it themselves um, when they wash their hair, but you can also take this treatment along with our chemistry shot and do it as a back bar service. So the nice thing about our extreme length primer is that it has protein and biotin. Now biotin, hi Lindsay. Now biotin, we all know it's great to help your nails grow, to help your hair grow, right? So our extreme length primer has that biotin in it. So it actually is going to strengthen the hair and it is going, hey Marcus, and it is going to help you get that full six inches of growth. Because I know a lot of times people, people are pretty aggressive on their hair. Would you not agree with me? Um, they're using flat irons. Some people even give themselves flat iron haircuts. You know what I'm talking about, right? So uh, this is definitely going to help that person get that full six inches of growth. And like I said, you can combine this with the regular extreme chem shot so that you can do a back bar service with it. So I know some people has joined, so I'm going to give my challenge again. And don't forget, whoever answers correctly first is going to get a Redken Caddy to put all their products in. So, within the structure of the hair, we have the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla. How do we know if the medulla is present in the structure of our hair? Type in your answer, all right? So, if you guys are out there liking what you're seeing, give me some hearts, okay? Because I need some interaction. It's a little different when you're just kind of talking to yourself. Definitely want to see some hearts going across that screen. So we also have within our treatments, and remember, like I said, Redken, we are all about the fiber of our hair. We want the integrity of the hair to remain intact so that we can, oh, thanks for those hearts, so that we can um, definitely 
change up our hair, right? So we have chemistry treatments. Now, yes, we have extreme chemistry shot. We have all soft, yes, all soft chemistry shot. We have color extend chemistry shot and we have volume chem shots. When do we use which one, right? So, well, first of all, let me just say that our chem shots, they are a customizable back bar treatment. With the extreme chem shot, we are able to utilize that one either prior to a chemical service or after a chemical service. That is the only one that you can utilize before a chemical service. We also have the color extend, which can you guess what the color extend chem shot is for? Yep, you guessed it. To extend the life of your color, right? We have the all soft, which is for dry, brittle hair. And then we also have the volume chem shot. Now the volume chem shot, that is a standalone chem shot. So what that means is that we shouldn't intermix that with anything else. We can take a shot or a pump of the extreme chemistry. We can take a pump of the all soft and a pump of the color extent and combine those all together and put it on the hair. The only one that we don't do that with is going to be the volume because we don't want to um, impede the action of the phylloxane because it has 10% phylloxane in it. And what that does is it basically goes, penetrates into the hair, plumps up that hair and adds incredible volume. What I have done is I have taken the volume shot and taken one pump and worked it in at the regrowth area and then whatever, like say on the ends, I would mix the extreme and the all soft together and put that and work that through the ends of the hair. So you can do that. So once you apply your chem shot, like I said, you can use up to three pumps. You can intermix except for the volume. You're gonna put that on um, shamp freshly shampooed hair. Hmm, couldn't get the words out from my brain to my mouth. <laughs> You're gonna put that on freshly shampooed hair, leave it on about five minutes, and then you're going to seal it in. We have what is called fix phase. We have a 5.5 fix phase and a 3.5 fix phase. You're gonna spray about eight to 10 pumps of the fix phase onto the hair. The 5.5 is for hair that is mechanically damaged. So somebody who doesn't have, um, who's not getting any type of a color service that day, they, maybe they just come in for a haircut, but they wanna do a chemistry treatment. You would utilize the 5.5 fix phase. Now, if you're doing a post treatment after a chemical service, you would use the 3.5 fix phase. The fix phase is designed to balance out the um, pH of the hair. So whenever we have a chemical on the hair, it definitely raises the pH more. So that's why we use the 3.5. So if you're still with me, give me some thumbs ups. Sound good? Awesome. Okay, so, so far we've treated the cuticle with our pre-art. We've treated the cuticle with our extreme length primer. And we've also treated the cuticle with our chemistry shots. We treated our the bonds, the chemical makeup of our hair with our pH bonder. So what about the cortex? I have got something for you. So we have here, this is our heat cure treatment. Our heat cure treatment is really nice in the fact that it is a restructuring treatment. So this will last in the hair 
for up to tw 10 shampoos. I almost said 12. Up to through 10 shampoos. And it utilizes a tool, which is the Heat Cure tool. What's nice is right now it's in a locked position, so all I have to do is press this button right here and it unlocks it and now I can open and close it. It has the on off switch. You can see the blue indicator light. That just means that it is heating up. Once that quits blinking, it will, um, that means that it has reached its temperature. Finally, instead of using heat to damage the hair, we are actually going to use heat to restructure the hair. Now, within the heat cure treatment itself, it has proteins and oils, low melting point waxes, and cationic conditioners. The proteins that it has is arginine, soy, and sepicap proteins. And then the oils that it has is wheat and palm oils. So it's really simple to use. What I am going to do is I am going to bring Erica, our lovely model. This is Erica. Say hi to Erica, everybody. Give her some thumbs up. She has been waiting patiently. So I'm just going to kind of adjust the screen a little bit. All right, so this way you can see Erica a little bit better. There we go. So, um, hot tip. So Erica, she has been prepped already. She's been shampooed with Extreme. Hey, Marcus. Um, thanks for showing her some love there. Um, she has been pre-shampooed with Extreme Shampoo. Uh, I have sectioned her off into quadrants so that for me it's easier to control the sections the hair whenever i section it in quadrants and typically the dose that you would use is anywhere from one to two pumps per section so i am going to use one pump on this front section right here so i have it in my hand i'm just going to kind of work it through and what's, whoops, sorry, Erica, I didn't mean to condition your eyebrow. So what I'm going to do is apply this on. And really, you only need to apply this formula where the damage is. So let's say somebody has um, a beautiful ombre. From here to here, it's their natural hair. And then from here down, we have um, lightener or we have pre-lightened their ends. That's the part that we're going to concentrate our formula on, which is right here. We also have a heat cure comb which is great because it has a little channel here. The other reason why I like to do it in quadrants is because I will take this comb and comb all of this product through. And if there is an excess of product, it will get trapped in this channel and then I can use it on another, um, another section. So remember, well, if there is a medulla in the hair, how do you know? The first one to tell me to type in the bottom is going to win that caddy. Okay, so hot tip. As you can see, I took my clip and I just put it right here. So what I'm doing is as we section this off, we're going to take one inch sections. This clip, I'm going to use to hold the rest of the hair out of the way. I'm gonna take my heat cure iron, and yes, make sure you let your guest know that when you apply this, they will probably hear popping, sizzling, and see steam. It is totally normal. As we move through the hair, you can see I don't have to worry about messing with my clip because I've already have the hair moved out of the way. I don't have to keep undoing my clip just because I placed it over there. This is a very quick service. So if you think about it, 
you could, because this is actually treating up to the cortex level of the hair. So you could take and you could use your pH bonder in your hair color to protect the bonds of the hair and then you could use the heat cure at the end of the service. So you could add to your service menu a bond cure treatment. Okay, so you can see it moves very, very quickly. It's very easy. It does, I can do a whole head in less than 15 minutes. One thing that you definitely want to remember is after you're done doing the whole head, you go back and you rinse. You rinse really well. You don't leave the product in. Um, you definitely have to rinse that product out. So, uh, like I was saying, you can do a bond cure service, which you're protecting not only the bonds, but you're also restoring the hair with the heat cure treatment. Hi, Chris, how are you? Now, the other thing that we have is the heat cure take home packet. This is so cool. It has this little tab right here. You pull this tab back and guess what happens? This heats up. Once this is heated up, your guest is going to put it on their hair after they shampooed their hair, leave it on for about five minutes, 10 minutes if they want, and then they're going to rinse their hair. This is going to extend the life of the heat cure treatment, okay? But it also helps to erase, you ready for this? Up to a year's worth of surface damage. <laughs> wow, right? That's incredible. So if you're a guest and you're watching me, be sure to ask your salon for the heat cure treatment and the take home. Also, what you can do, like I said, is you can do the bond cure treatment. But let's go one step further. What about a glossing bond cure treatment? So these are just some new service ideas that you can add to your menu. For me, I absolutely love Shades EQ Gloss. I feel like you get more manageability, you get incredible shine, and people will come in and they will ask for a standalone treatment with our pH bonder, which is absolutely fabulous. Hey Betsy, hey Sophia, which is absolutely fabulous. Um, but could you imagine if you put this in with a 000 clear gloss, processed it, you not only have a beautiful glossing treatment, but you've also protected and strengthened all the way down to the bonds of the hair. And then you add that heat cure treatment on at the end. And so you have not only taken care of the cuticle, the cortex, and the bonds. So add a glossing bond cure treatment to your menu or just a bond cure treatment. So, remember, okay, I have that contest going, all right? So, and I know for those of you who have just joined, what I am looking for, the question is, how do you know if the medulla is present in the structure of the hair? Because typically we have the cuticle, the cortex, and the medulla, which sometimes is there and sometimes isn't there. So how do we know if it's there? Whoever is the first one to give me the correct answer is going to win the Redkin Caddy. So type it in. So a lot of treatments, right? But yeah, they do a lot of good, a lot of good. Um, the other thing that I just want to leave you with is, you know, I was in Home Depot yesterday and as I was walking through, they had all kinds of Halloween decorations out. And yes, today is September 1st, and so technically it is a full two months away. 
However, what you can start planning now is how about for the month of October, you run a promotion, trick or treatment? You just learned about all the different treatments that we have, that Redken has to offer. So now take those and incorporate that into your salon. Trick or treatment. It's an idea, you guys take it, you run with it. The other thing is I need to know, what do you guys wanna know? What is it that you need from me during our Fifth Avenue Coffee Talks? Every Friday, um, I come to you live via Facebook. Uh, so let me know, what do you wanna hear about? If you guys uh, like what you're seeing, give me some hearts, give me some thumbs up, give me some emojis. And um, until next week, I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. It's a long weekend, so definitely take some time, put your feet up, relax, and just enjoy a cup of coffee on me. Have a great week. Bye.